Hey everybody, this is Brian and welcome to the 33rd LAMP tutorial. Today we're going to talk about inheritance. Now what is inheritance? Well, it's not when somebody dives and leaves you a lot of money, although I'm sure some of you out there would probably want that. But anyways, inheritance is a way of making a class inherit the properties of another class. Think about that. Why would you want to do something like that? Well, let's say we have class mammal. Mammal, sorry. And we have a uh, hmm, variable called has backbone equals true. All mammals have a backbone. Whoops, we've got our visibility modifier here. So there is our mammal class. Now, that's good and dandy. But what if we want to make a a cat class? Well, cat's a mammal. We could just very easily hey say has backbone equal true and add it in there. But what if we want to make a dog class? Same thing. Now you could just copy and paste this in here. They're all mammals, they all have backbones. But you say, whoops, well, you know what? Mammals also have, you guessed it, has hair. So now you have to go back to every class that you wanted to be a mammal and add in the has hair variable. And then somebody comes in and says, well, mammals also have this, they also have that, blah, blah, blah. And then you gotta do it for each one. Well, there's an easier way of doing this. So let's just delete this out here. and it's called the extends keyword. Now, when we say cat extends mammal, what do we mean? It means that cat actually inherits all of the goodness that the mammal class has. Notice how dog does not have the extends mammal. So let's actually save our work here. Let's open this up and let's say echo. <laughs> We've got to have to create an instance first. My cat equal new. Echo my cat. Now notice how cat has backbone and has hair. And we can even print those out. Even though the cat class has absolutely nothing in it. It's because we've inherited parts of the mammal class. Now let's try that with dog. Let's say echo. Ah, can't echo it. We haven't made it yet. My dog equals new dog. And let's try echo my dog Notice how nothing happens. Because the dog class doesn't have anything in it. So the IntelliSense knows, hey, there's nothing there. Let's extend the dog class. Or I should say extend mammal using dog. Now suddenly, magically, has backbone, has hair. Now why would you want to do this? Think about it. Dogs and cats are both mammals. They're both different types of animals. For example, let's add a function. Speak. Well, as you might have guessed, when you say to your cat to speak, it'll meow, and you say to your dog to speak, and it'll bark. So let's add these in here. Save our work, and let's actually say my cat My cat speak says meow. So let's say my dog speak. 
Wow, help if I could spell. Hmm, yeah, we kind of messed that up. Let's say dogs don't meow, they bark. So, save your work. <laughs> Misspelled bark. Dogs do bark, but that's a that's a different topic we're not going to cover in these tutorials. Okay, so as I was saying, you can extend the class, inherit the properties basically. Cat extends mammal, dog extends mammal, so both of them are mammals. They have all of the properties of a mammal, but they can do different things, like cats can meow, dogs can bark, or bork if you misspell things. Very simple, very easy concept, but it's also very powerful. Think of it. What could you do? Well, now you could take the cat, because I'm a cat person, and you could make a class called Lion and it extends cat and then you can do other things such as and a function and lions don't really meow they roar and we'll just add a So now we can actually make our lion here. We'll say uh, my lion. Make a new instance of the lion class. Notice how lion now has all the properties of mammal. It has backbone and hair. It also has the speak function, which we added to the, the cat class, but it also has roar. So as you can see, you can do multiple levels of inheritance, called an inheritance chain. So now a lion is both a cat and a mammal, and also a lion. To kind of prove that, we can tell the lion to speak. Let's actually just get this out of here so that we don't confuse it. And we can also make the lion roar, if we could spell correctly. Boy, I've got to do something about this keyboard. All right, so now we've got meow and roar. They're both coming from the lion class, but when you look in the lion class, you can see the only thing we have in here is roar. That's because it's inheriting from both the cat class and the mammal class. Now you really begin to see the real power of object-oriented programming, and you can do some very powerful things. I wanted to cover inheritance first, before we cover anything else, because you're going to really need to understand that concept, that a class is a blueprint, an object is an instance of that blueprint, and you can actually inherit things. For example, the mammal, cat, lion example that we just whipped out. That's all for this tutorial. Um, I hope you found this educational and entertaining, and thank you for watching.